Hi, everyone. We're doing a little pregame here, which means that we're not officially live yet. We're just getting ready. We like people to, we know we have stragglers, so we're going to let them come in and we'll get rolling in a couple seconds. Give us a minute or two while we do a little. Hi, everyone. We're doing a little pregame here. All right. So you get to look at my mug for a little bit while people come in. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, hi everyone, I'm Lex and welcome to Options Brew. We're gonna get going here. Um, today we have a very special guest, Mr. Stephen Collegian. Let me give you a little background, Stephen, and then we're gonna bring him in and get him on the screen. Wait till you see this trading room he has. Um, so he has over 36 years of experience in the options industry. Okay. I'm sorry, in the, in the trading industry. So he's traded stocks, futures, commodities, um, and currencies. He's traded for his own capital and he's also traded various, uh, the various capitals of family offices. In 2007, he co-founded a firm to research and develop predictive analytics to identify trends, reversals, patterns and divergences in the marketplace for all asset classes and all time intervals. So we'll get into that when he comes on. Steven seeks to generate some short-term and long-term trade ideas using this predictive uh, analytics throughout the day. In 2016, the company built Ticker Talker. And as a leader on Ticker Talker, Steven provides education, strategies, market commentary, trade ideas, trade signals, and a live trading room for subscribers. Okay, so let me bring him in. Um, I am going to send him the little request here to start video and we're gonna unmute him. I think he can unmute himself. Start video, excuse me. There you go, start video. Steve, you're coming to add up, boy, buddy, how are you? Hey, good afternoon, <laughs> hey Lex, how are this, you? I'm good, this technology stuff, it's crazy, right? Oh, uh, dude, just, just, you know, just look at the markets. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, t first of all, before we get started, let's, 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 let's catch up. Um, look at that, that trading room. That's insanity. Do you look at all that stuff? There's what is there? 18 screens in that room? Uh, 41. <laughs> <laughs> 41. And that's the secret to the pie, right? Well, you know what it is, is that, um, for me, uh, I'm looking at so many different correlations and the way the algos are lining up and, 
you know, I'm able to see the, the big markets, you know, obviously the S&P, the NASDAQ, the, the, you know, the Dow and the, uh, the Russell 2000. So for me, I've been doing this, you know, I started um, with 18 and I morphed into uh, 41. And people always joke and say like, oh, you know, you should have, um, you, should, you should own stock in uh, monitors and things like that. And I, I get my, you know, twisted all the time. But uh, for me, it works. I'm, I was given a gift and I can go left to right within seconds and I can see things like that. The average person, <clears throat> for me, um, what I'm able to do is uh, consolidate all the information where the end user really mm -hmm. doesn't have the real estate to see sure. what I'm seeing. So I'm actually given the information and the content and the trade ideas that the average person may only have two screens or four. Got uh, it. Even if one is a screen is used for order execution, mm -hmm. the other three are maybe a market watch and the other two, one's a market watch and then the other two are for maybe looking at charts. So I'm able to interpret things like that and they can rely on it really quickly in the options market or equity right. market. Okay. That's awesome. That's, that's a great looking room. So where, where are you based? Are you based in the New York area? Is that, is that right? I'm based outside of New York city, about 35 minutes, uh, okay. town called Rye Brook, Westchester, New York. Great. Uh, hope to be in Florida soon. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, and, and how, how the relative to the whole COVID thing out in New York, we know that started out bad, but it, it sounds like it's gotten a little better. Everything okay out there for the most part, all things being, yeah, you know, uh, when COVID, um, started you know late february early march we really didn't skip a beat you know we a lot of people from the office work from home but you know about five or six of us work internally here it's very hard to do what i do uh and transmit all the information i couldn't mm -hmm. duplicate this in my house if i, sure. if I wanted to in that short right. period of time um we were really super careful the i mean the building was 95 percent empty Mm -hmm. just drove in parked the car and you know came into the office and you right. know we just were really careful that was it yeah okay yeah it's got it's it's similar here we're, we're in chicagoland right and we have another big city but we're, we're we're behaving in uh relative to that and staying out of the way with of that so that's good good to hear okay yeah. um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna you know we're gonna <clears throat> let folks ask questions so let me just let me just talk to the group a little bit um, if you notice in your, th those in the virtual audience, there's a little uh, hand raise button. So if you want to ask a question, you can certainly do it that way. There's also a Q&A tab down there. You can type your questions in. Um, we have uh, some, some colleagues of mine online ready to answer questions. We'll do a Q&A at the end. Steven, I think you're going to do a little presentation, right? Uh, uh, share your screen. Show us yep. some of the, the tricks and, and keep in mind, Andre, if you could type in tickertalker.com. I think that's the website. I hope that's the website. Is that right, Stephen? Yes, www.tickertalker.com and they can yep. go into my profile or any of the other leaders, but okay. um, yeah, yes. Yeah, and that's where, the, that's where you can take a peek at what's going on with him. He's gonna show you, give you a little, little taste of it today. Um, really great stuff. So <clears throat> just let me just say before you get started, predictive analytics, that's kind of a, a, a heady term. Mm -hmm. And what that means to me, at least, and I always wanted this ability, is it means that I get tomorrow's newspaper today and I get to see the news. That's how I look at it, right? So that's pretty awesome, man. When you can do that and, and you've got such a great track record, which is wonderful, it really helps you folks out there who want to, want to you know, even option strategies or straight stock strategies, get a direction for your trades. Tremendously useful. So Steven's got some great things to do. Did I say that right, Steven? Correct absolutely. me if I'm wrong. Or Yeah, I spent, absolutely. I mean, so for me, it's about being on the right side of the market. And the technology I spent eight years of my life building gives mm -hmm. me the ability to be uh, to see the uh, see the trend developing or the buy or sell reversals. Mm -hmm. So, like I say, we had a sell reversal in the afternoon. Uh, so, using predictive analytics uh, is very very key in trading, whether it's futures, commodities, equities, ETFs, and/or options. Mm -hmm. And a good friend of mine, who's probably a mon he's a well, he's monster options trader, always said to me, "If you can just." give me a slight advantage in which way the markets are going or that asset class, I'll kill it with the options market. And that's what predictive analytics is all about. Uh, and so I built my own software and it's really simple. I use, I have nothing different than the average person, mm -hmm. meaning I created it and my users get the same technology that I use on a daily basis. So that's I awesome. teach it all day. Terrific, terrific. All right, good. So you wanna you wanna share your screen and get going? Or you wanna uh, yeah. you might have Bob come in and help you out there? I need, I need my main man Bob over here. All right, hi Bob. How are you? 
Okay. That sharing oh. screen thing's tricky, I know. Okay. And of course, I probably have to let you do that. No, I did. You can share. There we go. Okay, there it is. All right. So I'm, in. I'm really excited about this opportunity. Welcome, everybody. Again, predictive analytics is something that, um, for me, I would not be able to... Now, I was uh, trading way before I invented uh, predictive analytics. Uh, I was... You know, I started my first trade in the options market, had no discipline at all. Watch a call option go from two and three quarters. I kept on buying all the way down to an eighth of a dollar and a week before expiration, the stock ran $12 and I got super lucky, made money. And I swore I never would do that again. And then I went right into US equities and was very fortunate to um, <clears throat> be in a time period that was uh, very, very uh, significant in the way the markets had depth of the market and we were doing strategies like bullet trading and things like that. But then when the markets went to decimalization, I said, you know what? There's no depth of the market. I need to know which way the markets are going. And I thought it was going to take me one year of my life, but it actually took me eight. So predictive analytics is not just for, uh, you know, scalp trading, day trading. It's also for intermediate long-term trading um mm -hmm. and so one of the things that's really important it's uh, works what i built works on all asset classes as lex said the underlying stock you can use the options whether you're doing bull spreads uh uh or spreads in general and or buying or buying calls or selling puts or any other type of intraday uh, i i my my live room is eight hours a day and i'm i'm focused a ticker talker here on creating a lot of alpha content um, tradable ideas throughout the day. Uh, so with predictive analytics, it gives me the ability to be able to see things as they're happening and be able to take advantage of it and populate it on my, on my, um, on my telecaster where the where people who don't have my software get to see it as well. And the people who do get to trade it, uh, you know, with me and, 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 you know, again, being able to see the patterns uh, one thing about particular analytics before I get into it is I can show you how uh, patterns repeat themselves on a daily basis. So the, the functionality of particular analytics is to identify trends, reversals, uh, positive, and <coughs> positive and negative divergences. But also uh, those people who trade index options, um, my, my research has showed me that um, during the U.S. session that you need the, the futures contract, let's say the S&P futures, and the underlying ETF, the spiders, to mm -hmm. correlate. And I'll give you some examples of that uh, when the underlying ETF correlates on the various different time frame with the S&P futures, S&P futures, or the S&P futures correlate with the uh, underlying ETF. The last thing I'm going to get into um, before <coughs> I show my charts <coughs> is um, I do look at multiple time frames. My research has shown me that. You really just can't trade a stock on a single time frame that mm -hmm. you need multiple time frames. So when you, I bring up <coughs> the first example, um, you're going to see uh, the, um, you're going to see the, um, the uh, multiple time frames. Okay, let me let me interrupt, Stephen, real quick. Sure. I'm sorry. I, I so this is all what we're going to see here. This is information that would be available to one of your subscribers should they do that. Is that right? Correct. Yes. They and can they can see this during the trading day in your room live yeah. and and get signals. Okay. Good. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Or they and they can actually subscribe. Um, you know, there's, we're giving a significant promo at the end. Um, and and this is not super expensive at all. I mean, I have such a passion to teach. Um, again, I've been, August 1st will be 37 years in the markets, mm -hmm. and I hope to do this for another 30 plus years. I love it. There's nothing greater than to help correct people who are struggling or are in bad habits or need sure. technology, because for me, it's one word. I have five keywords, and the first word is consistency, discipline, uh, confidence, and the confidence I have is because of the technology that I built and the patience to let the pattern set up. And mm -hmm. then the passion that you just want to just kill it every day. Got so um, for me, uh, an example one, we're looking at beyond me and I'm going to go nice and slow here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I got the mm -hmm. 15 minute and the five minute time frame, and I have my, so none of these studies could be added or deleted. This is my own analytics, my own charting application. So what you get, I have the identical. I don't have something that you don't have, or I have mm -hmm. an advantage. We are looking at the same thing 
each and every day, every second of the day in Got my it. live room. Got so for it. me, I want to be able to see, basically, basically, it's very simple. Predictive analytics is math. And so there's a lot of math that goes behind this. And again, mathematics does not lie. So for me, I want to be able to identify uh, um, <coughs> a trend developing or a reversal, like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. So looking at Beyond Me, um, looking at the 15 minute and the five minute. And now the smaller time frames, I use like the three to five minute time frames. I look for entry points because it's a slower, it's a faster mm -hmm. time frame. So I want to buy within the trend or short within the trend. And I look at the smaller time frames. The indicators uh, one, two, three, four. The most important is indicator four. It is my own predictive analytics. Uh, and so basically looking at the 15 minute time frame <coughs> where it's circled here, you can see um, the cayenne or the light blue over orange. And that mm -hmm. gave me on this bar here, the buy on beyond me. And so I knew that the, the trend was reversing around uh, 10, 15 in the morning on beyond me. And then I used the smaller time frames to buy uh, or buy the pullbacks in the actual um, stock. So, <clears throat> but it alerted me once I got this buy on beyond me using my mm -hmm. predictive analytics, you could have, you know, I told people in the room, we're buying beyond me here. You know, and a lot of people who trade options get right involved in, in the different various sort of strategies that he and or she would like. And mm -hmm. in this case, what we're, we're calling the buy, we're, we're visually seeing it. We're mm -hmm. visually noticing that a, a reversal and beyond me from the opening at, nine, uh, at 930 and now at 1015, 1030 has shifted. And now you can see how beyond me rallied from 135 up to 163. Now, you know, yes, this is an, a great example where it moved, you know, 28, 20 some odd dollars, 28 dollars. But again, this is not just, uh, uh, you know, we're able to see these patterns throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And we're able to see the analytics, the predictive analytics tell us which way the markets are going. So that's crucial without guesswork Sure. In trading, whether it's options, you know, futures or trading stocks in general. Yep. So again, Stephen, let me interrupt again. Sorry. Uh, so I, 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 there's, a, there's a good question here. I want, and you're kind of hitting on a little bit. So you, you mentioned um, uh, the 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 longer time period and the shorter time period. Is one more important to you? That's the question that, that a viewer has. Is is one of those time frames the kind of the the, the creme de la creme of of time frames, or not really? It's the collective value of all of them together. Well, that's a great question. I always say that the bigger time frame has more merit because it's the bigger okay. time frame. So it's giving me the ability to tell me which way the move is going. And then mm -hmm. I use the smaller time frames. Uh, but I will show, and I, I, I believe I have this in here, where I'm able to pick up divergence patterns or, off of buy-in or sell divergence patterns off of the smaller time frame. But the bigger yeah. time frame is what's really leading the way, right? Yeah. I'm not going to just buy beyond me because the five-minute time frame told me I waited for the 15-minute time frame Again, a key word to correlate with the five minute time frame. That's why I look at multiple time frames. So, okay. and I've changed so many people's way of thinking like this when I bring in multiple, multiple time frames. Uh, when I trade indexes like the NASDAQ futures, um, the, the S&P futures, I will tell your audience, I do look at five time frames because they are the biggest indexes in my book. Mm -hmm. I do look at the three minute, the five, the 15, the 30, and the hourly. Okay, but when I trade individual names, I do look at just two of the five and the 15 minute time frames. Okay. So in this example, again, with Beyond Meat, I was able to see that move and take advantage of it in the options market and or the equity markets. And again, people, you know, I, I, I'm calling the trade, I'm calling the idea, and then you just see people with the light bulbs, oh my God, all right, we're gonna buy the stock, we'll buy the calls, you know, we'll do, a, you know, some type of a bull spread. Mm -hmm. Or something. So again, it's an uh, unbelievable. And you know, let me tell you, I've been doing this now, like I said, close to 37 years. Um, right now, it's slow because the FOMC uh, and you know it, it just released a statement. But the point is, is that during extreme volatility days, what we could do up to maybe up to 200 ideas in a day. Uh, wow. Every day is different. Okay. Yeah. Let me let me ask another question. Sure. Um, so a lot of ideas, obviously, you're, 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 are you scanning the whole market with your predictive analytics or are you picking a basket <laughs> of your universe of stocks? You know, you have 200 stocks you watch all the time or you, you, you're looking at 
all nine billion of them? What, what no, you- I, you know, I used to be able to have, well, I still have the capabilities, but, you know, I want to be able to visualize, visually see it. Yep. So uh, I look at, you know, the big names, the Apples, the Amazons, the Facebooks, and the Nvidia's, the Netflix, sure. the Boeing's, Beyond Meat, um, Microsoft, like I said, yep. um, you know, all the squares, uh, you know, all the names that the Roku's, the Shopify, the, the Snap, all the big names and the ETFs, the spiders, the diamonds, the Q's, and the Russell, mm-hmm. the TQ's are animals, right? Um, and people are now really getting super excited about the TQ's. I've educated people on that. Um, mm-hmm. You know, whether you're trading the, the Russell, we had a huge buy today on the Russell early mm-hmm. in the morning at 945. And a lot of people, you know, went into the Russell uh, index options and things to that nature. So okay. um, again, it's, it's up to the individual. But to answer your question, I don't have um, 200 names okay. I follow. I want to keep it where, you know, people are consistent. I don't want them all over the place. You know, I want them focused on these names on a daily basis that right. there's oomph in them, you know, like NVIDIA, boom, we got the buy this morning and boom, sure. pushed up to new highs. And, you know, and, you know, people were all over that on the pullbacks around the 415 and ran up to 419. So right. again, okay. just taking advantage of the same names on a daily basis. Got it. We, um, have, another, we have another question here. Let me, let me sure. get to this one. This is, this is pertinent. Um, so in your universe of stocks question is, um, uh, is there a liquidity issue that you consider? So, um, you know, I'm not saying Amazon's not le- necessarily liquid, but I think the, the viewer is asking, you know, that's a pretty wide market. So you mm-hmm. could eat up a lot of the profit in the bid ask. So is there, sure. is there any sort of, um, you know, consideration uh, to liquidity or, or, or width of markets with these things or not, or not so much? Oh, uh, okay, obviously Amazon, the spreads are big, but <clears throat> all our orders are limit orders. So we just, we wait, if, they, if we miss it, we miss it, you know? So we're, we're scaling into positions. Uh, I don't do single entries. If I give a range, like I'm looking to buy, you know, Amazon between, you know, uh, whatever range it does, it, I would say 85% of the time it comes within that range. Does it go all the way through the range? No, sure. you make it, if you have two or three entries, you may get filled on two of the three. Yep. Um, uh, so like today we caught the, the buy reversal in Goldman. We had to pull back. At twelve forty and a rip two dollars. So okay. names we're trading S and P names. So we're not trading names yep. that you know there. It does twelve thousand shares in a day. You know where okay. you just gotta you know hopes to be right and then because I want people involved in the names. I don't want people saying hey you know whether I'm trading the stock or the option. You know I mean Apple. Look at look what Apple does on a given day. Two hundred million plus shares. I mean we're in names like you know Facebook and mm-hmm. names at Microsoft. Look at the volume in Microsoft. So okay. again you know or the TQs or the Qs. But great question. Uh, yeah. And again you know we're it's about you know multiple ways of trading it. When if you like when I got a buy on Goldman we waited we didn't just wait for Goldman to buy it at, above the two hundred two level or the 202 and a half, but you waited for it to pull in and then it, you bought at a better price and then it ran, ran $2. So. Got it. Okay. So, All right, so you got another to... example up here then. You have a Goldman, uh, Goldman Sachs bearish trend here, right? Right. Okay, so explain this one to us. And then um, I want to see on these graphs what, what people would see in the rooms as the, sure. as, the, as the indicator. I see you circled something here. You see how I'm drawing on your screen? Yep. So that must mean something important. Yep. Okay, so, go ahead. So the market opens ding, 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 and we see a gap down in Goldman, and we waited for the first bounce, and we got short that first bounce in Goldman. Using the predictive analytics, it told me not once to be long Goldman. So right, at, right off the bat, preservation of capital. I'm like, oh, uh, Goldman's down, you know, uh, you know, uh, $12. I'm going to buy Goldman. No, you know, it's not telling you to buy Goldman, you know. Um, so basically people, you know, on that bounce could have sold calls or shorted the stock. Now, the indicator that you're, you just pointed to is an indicator one, which is a, I'm going to, very simple, is a uh, MACD, standard MACD 12269. And the okay. reason why I do that is to show people the magnitude. Uh, and I have, again, my own terminology, I, I'll, I, I call it a negative MACD. So a mm-hmm. negative MACD means that blue over yellow is a negative MACD. So when we were getting this push up uh, right after the opening, we were like, oh, my God, this is a gift. Who's ever buying Goldman up here? This is a ne- negative MACD. My algorithm is significantly in sell mode. There's no reason to be buying Goldman here. This is a gift. Start shorting it or, you know, sell calls or look to buy puts. And that's exactly, and you, then you can see it got completely.
completely kabooshed. It just it just dropped significantly, almost seven eight dollars from that. Again, being able to identify this, that's a sell divergence right there. So the the price is pushing up in the negative predictive analytics is telling me it's got to be mm -hmm. sold. And I had the negative MACD on indicator one, and it just told me, hey, boom, you got to be short this on any rally. And it happened right after the opening. Okay. And then where is, do you publish a specific price that's interesting to the gang in your mm -hmm. room? Uh, meaning you, Goldman is, is, is an interesting short, let's say, mm -hmm. at X price. Do you give that price out or not so much? So what I do is I like to, because I don't know people's account sizes and things of that nature. So what I do is I, and people have adjusted to this so well mm -hmm. that again, you need the $25,000 or more to day trade, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously. And same thing with the options market. And I'll say, okay, I'm looking to short Goldman, you know, 206.50 to 207.20 or somewhere in that range. So people will start putting their orders out. So I'm giving people, because if I said to short Goldman at 206 and a half, what happens is that, you know, you get, 200,000 shares that come in at two, you know, at, mm -hmm. you know, oh, six and a half. So I'm giving people the opportunity to sell within a range. Now there are times that may go up to two hundred six eighty and then drop $2. And those of you who are offering at two hundred seven, but you know, I try to tell people that the first price, you know, you know, put some orders in and then scale up accordingly. And sure. maybe you get filled two out of three or three out of the four, price points. Yeah. Sometimes you'll get your whole range filled and then it'll, it'll drop. Um, so it depends on the day and it depends on, you know, the, the, the stock and, and the range in itself. Right. But I like to, I don't like to just say, Hey, this short Goldman at 206.50. All right. Now sell some more at 206.70. You know, so it's just, I'm too focused. So I just give a range and people sure. put the orders in accordingly. So basically this is a great uh, trend right out of the gate. And Goldman just got absolutely destroyed on this here. Um, this is uh, silver, the SLVs, maybe not a great one to show, but again, my analytics told me to sell on the, on the 15. Mm -hmm. I had the negative MACD, so on the five, on, on indicator one on the 15. So when I got the sell on the five, it correlated. I waited for the first bounce on the SLVs to get short. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, uh, again, maybe not a, not a great one here. Now here's a TQ is one of my favorite to trade. So we got what's called a buy reversal around uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. You can see how the algorithm on indicator, uh, indicator four on the 15 mm -hmm. correlated with the five. And um, you can see how the MACDs were positive on both the, the 15 and the five minute. And then indicator three is my own overbought over oscillator. I waited for the first pullback and you can see the run up about a dollar twenty, dollar thirty here on the TQ. So in this pullback, I was actually telling people this is a great opportunity to be buying, you know, right into the weighted moving average, which is my orange uh, dotted line here. It actually mm -hmm. goes back to the Lex, it goes back to the inception of the data. So this is not just a moving average, this is a heavily weighted moving average that right. goes back to the inception of the of the okay. asset class on this particular time frame. Can you ex real quickly uh, explain what TQQ is, what, what that is for? I know that's a, a, a derivative of QQQ, but what, tell the folks what that is. Right. So it's just another way of trading. The, the, it's a, it's a, an ETF, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's a, a double, I think it's a double uh, of the, of the Qs. So okay. it's going gonna, it's gonna to move significantly in the direction, but it's also great because if you have capital, you don't need to, you know, buy the QQQs at two hundred and fifty-eight or two hundred fifty-nine dollars when you can buy something at, you know, m more than half less. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it gives people the ability, if or especially if you're trading options or if you're trading the stock outright, it's mm -hmm. it's more than half the price. So a lot of people are gravitating to this because, you know, let's say you buy a hundred. I'm just giving an example. You want sure. to buy three hundred QQQs. You could buy 600 or even a thousand shares of the TQQQs, and and they move, and they move. Let yeah, me tell you, these things yep. move. All right, let's do one more, and then we'll get to some questions, um, and you know, and kind of uh, yeah, round it up. So give me a give me a good one. Uh, let's see here. Well, here's the Russell here. Let me see if this is a uh, let me just, IWM. Yep. Uh, I don't know if this. Let me just 
Uh, well, sure. here's, here's Netflix. This is a great one here. Let's see. So that you one. can see that uh, the 0.0, .0 line, which I teach in my live room, is my well, again, I have my own terminology, my own pivot. Uh, <clears throat> the MACD is positive here, blue, uh, yellow over blue. Mm -hmm. uh, and the instant in the Goldman, I said it was negative, meaning blue over yellow. This is uh, positive, yellow over blue. My algorithm, I caught the buy reversal here exactly at 10 a.m. on Netflix. And um, we waited patiently. So the 15 minute uh, time frame correlated with the five using my own particular, particular analytics. I knew the trend was up using my own overbought oversold, out, oversold oscillator. I waited for the pullback on Netflix. And I mean, I was jumping up and down. I mean, I love this pattern. This is one of my favorite when the 15 correlates with the five mm -hmm. and the MACDs are below my pivot. And I got the pullback. Beautiful. People were buying stock. They were buying calls. They were doing spreads and boom. And the trades normally last anywhere from one to eight bars. Okay. So if you're looking at a five minute time frame, it's anywhere from one minute to 40 minutes. So again, very, very powerful on this move in Netflix. So I think that's a good one to leave off. On. Okay. But I have too many more examples to show. Yeah, I bet. No, no, this is fantastic. So l let me just say a couple things to the, to the, to the audience. Um, one thing to remember, Steven's been doing this for, for, for 37 years, I think you said, right? Yeah, we'll um, There's no way you're supposed to understand this at first glance. That's why he's here. He's a teacher. <clears throat> he's a coach. He's an educator. He does these kind of things. Look, at, I've been in the business just about as long as he has. I don't understand what he's talking about necessarily. However, <laughs> if, you, if you subscribe to, that, to his, his, his uh, show, he's going to teach you this stuff, and you get to watch it live. Okay. Um, the other thing he talked about trading stocks versus uh, options uh, in the option space. There's a lot more ability to, to take advantage of a move, right? You don't have to have as much of a, a big of an account to take advantage of some of these moves. He can convert the, his signals into buy a call, buy a put, do a spread. He just said that. So don't get overwhelmed by what he's showing you and say, wow, that's a lot of lines. Trust me, this is good stuff. I love this kind of predictive stuff. It's great for your trading um, skill. It's great for, mm -hmm. for having signals. And he's, he does an awesome job at this, right? Did I say that well enough, Stephen? Absolutely. Is you know, you know uh, again, what I tell all your users and, and your audience, and I've been doing this so long, you know, I've taught top, some of the top hedge fund guys just correlation studies, you know, like I said earlier, between the, the futures contract and the underlying ETFs. And which I'll get into another time on another webinar here. But this is a journey, not a sprint, right? Yep. And so the most important thing here is that, you know, with my live room, I'm, I'm on for eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. uh, and I take very, very small little breaks, maybe to get a cup of coffee here, a glass of water there. But yep. the point of the matter is, I'm constantly showing people how the, what's going on. And, you know, within three days, they get the lingo, right? Sure. Within a week, week and a half, they start seeing the pattern. I actually have people now in my live room saying, hey, look at Boeing for a short. They're, they're bringing it to my attention. It's just so flattering, you know, that people are actually have learned, learned this. And awesome. the confidence level, Lex, is just absolutely through the roof. I mean, Perfect. yesterday I got a text from someone that, you know, he, he generated 7.2% return in the day. And I was absolutely blown away by it. You know, uh, sure. I actually took a picture of it and that really meant a lot to me, you know? So, yep. well, that's um, great. yeah. Okay. So what I did was, um, you know, I gave a special offer here. And again, this is about, you know, I want it under the radar. I want it less than a cup of coffee a day. You know, I want people to learn to come in and out, have access to me. I'm very transparent. I do a lot of webinars after the market's closed to so all my users, I'm constantly answering questions. You know, I, whether you're a novice to the most sophisticated guys, I talk to you the same way, right? right? And I give the time. And that's why I told you one of my key words is passion. But again, I cut it down uh, to <coughs> the 50 bucks. And, you know, it's, it's a way that if you're going to be seriously trading, you know, I've been doing this, like I said, and, I love it. And I just want to help people and give so that's them a, the opportunity. That, that's awesome. So that's a special code, uh, viewers, uh, options brew 50. Um, think about it. $50. That's per month, right, Steven? Yes. So one of his trades could pay for your whole year pretty easily. Safe to say. Okay. 
Um, terrific. Let's get some questions, okay? Sure. First question, I think you answered it, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Uh, okay. There is a live trading room, right? So you have access to the, the viewers would have access to that, right? If they sign up. Yeah, eight hours a day, come in 100 times a day, in and out. There's no like limitation. Okay. You're in, you can't come back in. Yes. Okay, good. Awesome. I, I know you answered that. I want to get just get to that one. The other sure. one is uh, there's there's training in the room to get acclimated to, to the to the, uh, the to the training room and the trading style. So there's some kind of training. Is that what goes on? Nonstop another- all nonstop all day long when there's no patterns or there's no trades going on. I'm going, constantly going back and teaching, constantly going back, constantly going back and going over all the different, you know, awesome. ideas and going over all the different numbers on the chart, constantly teaching nonstop. I mean, you know, I, people joke around with me and they say, how come you don't have monster energy? I go, I don't need it, you know? (laughs) So, um, but no, to answer the question, um, when it's busy and there's a lot, sometimes there's a lot of trades going on and things and ideas. And when it calms down, like right now, you know, you go and, you know, you just go back to and say, okay, let's go back to this pattern in Goldman, why this pattern was great. And I go back and explain things constantly. Okay, great. Um, here's a question: Is the t- is a subscription that you're showing in the screen is uh, is uh, for ticker ticker talker live session each day, entire market hours for a month? Where do I go to sign up? So that's tickertalker.com, right? Yes, yeah, so you go into Let's my profile. Let's repost that. Okay, mm-hmm. go ahead. And it, it's it's that that code there is um, there for the uh, entire month. Okay. Um, and um, it's, you know, it's there. And um, for me to, uh, again, they, they, they can come in at nine o'clock, they come in at 930, they can come in whatever they want. Or the whole day. The whole day. They go in and out a hundred times a day if they want. In and out. Perfect. Keep come, yeah. And I also Got have it. a mobile app that they can, they can watch me on okay. too. Okay. Great. Here's another question for you. This gentleman, I think, asks, um, is this the primary way you trade? So I think what, what he means is, uh, um, you know, as opposed to doing big butterflies and options and all that stuff. So is this your, your primary way of making money for yourself? Yeah. So my primary, well, well to be honest with you, my primary is uh, through the platform. You know, I'm a, I'm mm-hmm. a partner in the firm, uh, but I do trade my own account. Um, but what basically uh, what I'm helping people to do is I don't trade options currently right now, but I do trade equities, but on the underlying names, Basically, so what people end up doing is following my ideas as I'm seeing them, mm-hmm. and then they're correlating it to, you know, obviously trading uh, future, uh, trading equities and or options. Because it's okay. hard for me to say, hey, okay, uh, I, like today, I got a big buy reversal on the NASDAQ, right? So uh, on the QQQs and on um, a bunch of other names, Microsoft and okay. all these other names, I'm not going to go and give... 30 different strategies to people. I don't know their account. I don't know what they're doing. So I'll just say, hey, I'm calling the direction. If you guys want to trade from the long side, this is the name. I'm buying this stock. This is the name. Whether you're trading options or equities, this is a beautiful pattern and it should trade higher. So then people become creative and they go and do spreads on their own. Uh, You know, they'll just trade the stock outright or, you know, they'll just, you know, buy a a call option or some people may you know on a, on a bullish signal they may then even you know sell puts or do something on a naked side so it's it's so many different ways to skin a cat sure i just can't say okay go do you know the tqs you know 110 straddle or something like that you know it's just yep. too involved i Got don't know it. people's account sizes go okay good here's another question uh, I, I andre looks like he typed in the, the registration link too where people can sign up so he put that in the chat uh, for the, the viewer who asked that question. Um, he, this question is, there are multiple channels on the site. Does one get access to all the channels or only one? And I don't know what that means necessarily in terms of channels. Maybe you can help us out there. Uh, so I do have Ticker Talker TV. That's not what this is. Uh, so Ticker Talker TV is free. I'm only on for about an hour a day, okay. an hour and 15 a day. This is under my, if you, the, the individual goes to my profile, on the leader page, and then you yep. click on there, and then put in the uh, options brew, uh, um, you know, fifty dollars okay. code. And if there's any problems, they can just call the 203-617-4052 and we'll help them if they have. Okay, any and that's on the website as well. Uh, that number, uh, no, I'm just giving it out now. It's it goes to our help desk. Two okay. Let's get that in the chart. Yeah. 
203-617-4052. Okay. Andre, let me know if you got that. We'll put that in there. Um, and you know what I end up doing also, Lex, is I do take groups of people who, when I do get a whole bunch of people that come in and I, that are new, mm -hmm. um, I put them in groups and I do one-on-one -on -one webinars for free at the end of okay. the day. And, Terrific. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm very hands-on. And a lot of people, you know, they call me, they talk to me. And I mean, it's hard during the day, but at the end of the night, I do take time to, to speak to a lot of different people because I want to know this, you know, I want to hear like, you know, how I can help them, what level they are, you know, like, are yep. you just a novice? Are you sure? You know, where are you in the game? You know? Right. Okay. Awesome. Let's take a couple more here. Sure. Um, obviously the, you know, I'm, I'm paraphrasing a little bit. It's a little longer question. So this uh, viewer wants to know, you can't always be right. So there's got to be times when the predictive doesn't work and you're wrong. Do you have sort of a stop out measure of sorts uh, that's that's um, quantitative? And that's, that's my word. That's not the viewer's word, but that's my word. Is that in, in fact the case? Uh, well, first of all, great question. Every order that goes in on my analytics, if I can go back really quick here and to mm -hmm. show you. Um, let's say, for example, we're short Beyond Meat. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, we're trading up op <coughs> options with the stock and let's say, you know, you're short here and we didn't cover, or, I mean, you gotta be nuts not to cover down two and a half dollars, but just right. say for example, but in these numbers here, you can see this orange number right here. Like you can see if I could sprint 136.05, that would be the buy reversal on that particular time frame. So I already have mathematical stops in place. Okay. Um, but great question. Um, I'm not immune from the markets to the point where like a tweet comes out. Uh, one day we were long the S and P futures and spiders and people were long the index options and yep. boom, the S and P's ran 80. <laughs> uh, two days later, they dropped 12 on a tweet. So it's something that I really can't do in the sense that basic, basic, basically news um, is something that can override, you know, a particular sure. one okay. way or the other. Great. Okay. Great answer. Um, one last question, then we're going to wrap it up. Okay. Uh, in relation to that, so the this this viewer uh, asked, um, do you do you give the exit strategy level? I'm sorry, the exit uh, level of of a profitable trade. So it's just the opposite yes. of what, what the last one. So you, you yeah, say, so for example, um, you know, let's say for example, like I have the S and P futures up, and I knew the the 36 level was a buy just now, and they just ran 16 handles. So basically, uh, you know, if I'm trading. Uh, let's say NVIDIA, like today, right? We uh, we were buying NVIDIA after we got the significant buy. It pulled in beautifully. Um, and it was trading about, <clears throat> I don't know, about two, two and a half dollars higher than, from our entries. I said, okay, look to sell, you know, 417 to 419 range. Okay. It depends. So I do give the exit as well. Got it. Awesome. Okay. Hey, look, that's all, all the time we have today. So that was just fantastic. Really, really interesting stuff. Um, I really appreciate you coming on. I think, uh, I think people are really going to enjoy what you have to say. So we're going to post this on, um, the YouTube channel that this is recorded. We'll send you a copy too, Steven. You get, you get that out where you need to get it out. Uh, folks, uh, give ticker talker sh a shot, man. This is just wonderful, wonderful stuff. This is, uh, he's making the really, really difficult mathematics, super simple for you. Okay. So, Stephen, thanks so much for coming on. We really enjoyed it. Look forward thanks, to the next Alex. one. Looking forward to coming back. And again, um, it's uh, to me, I, I live and breathe this all day long. And I just want to awesome. see people really uh, consistent and successful. Awesome. All right, buddy. Great, thanks, great buddy. talking great to you. Great seeing you, Lex. Bye, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Have a great day. You too.